All right, so you're new to space or you haven't played since live and you don't uh, remember anything. When I first started, I forgot to upgrade ship parts and run overloads and all that stuff. So this is just a quick video, some tips and tricks to make grinding your ace a lot quicker. One easy ITV trick you can do is on one of your programmable ITVs, save a spot to NIM Stronghold. That way you have quick access to the, not only the Bazaar, but also a Starship Terminal. Let's go ahead and go there. Because you can program the location just this rock right here. You can program, you can pull out your ITV right there. And as you can see, you have your Starship Terminal and a Bazaar right there. So parts you can buy ace grind packs on the bazaar go to vendor location entire galaxy miscellaneous wearable container and ace type in ace grind and the market obviously as you can see right now is pretty short uh, i've put out blasts in the discord channels to see if people will start to uh, making more because obviously there's a hole in the market and you can make a decent little amount of money off of it but yeah buy the ace grind pack suited to your level if you're starting off level one but as soon as you level up buy the next one just go ahead and buy them all that you need two to three four to five six to seven level eights if people make those so go ahead and buy all those uh, kits that you need as you level up now so you go there you get your ship parts another thing you're going to want to buy is the ship itself when you're starting out get the high mass variant of the starter ship so ship component ship chassis if you're a rebel pilot the Z95 high mass variants if you're a neutral pilot the sick or skick, however it's pronounced, high mass variant. Now, rebel neutral pilots, they can use it right off the bat. If you're an imperial pilot, you're a little bit screwed. Your TIE fighter, high heavy variant, you can't use till a couple missions in the second or third box, something like that. I forget. But go ahead and pick it up because you're going to want to use it right away. Then as soon as you can use a TIE bomber or an X-wing or a dune lizard, or any two to three gun ship, pick one of those up. So now you have your ship. Oh, also, if it comes as a blueprint, if it comes looking like that icon there and not a pill, you need to go to a chassis dealer. Easiest one to get to if you have this ITV right here. What's up, dude? Um, this is the 9000Z001 pickup. It was some sort of event. They're about 40 million right now. If you don't have one, get one. They're only going to get more expensive. Go to the Cloud City Cantina. And you have a Starship terminal and a chassis dealer right here. So when you have a blueprint, talk to the chassis dealer, and you will assemble a ship chassis, and it'll give you the, it's going to be your one and only option, and boom, it's no longer blueprint, it is now a legit chassis that you can use. But let's head back to them stronghold, there's one other thing that we need to purchase. So you have your grind kits according to your ship level certification again just get your one three five seven just pick all those up you're gonna need them now one thing i didn't have the first time i aced through was your overloads your flight computer i didn't run any overloads the entire first time i aced and it was a nightmare so again vendor location entire galaxy miscellaneous wearable container flight 
Oops, flight, comp. And boom, plenty of backpacks for you to get. And again, your astromech certification will go up just like everything else. You'll start out as a level one astromech. And as you gain levels, you'll want to upgrade that as well. So again, just run through by the mark one, two, three, four, skip five. And when you hit ace, get the six. So run out and buy one of those. So to program your flight computer, I went ahead and picked it back up. The flight computer, the astromech, it depends on what ship you fly. It'll let you know what you need. Rebel ships, most of them need an astromech. And pretty much everything else will use a flight computer. You will initialize your flight computer. At that point, you will go into your data pad. And you will see your V1, V2, whatever flight computer. Radial it. Program the droid. It'll pull up this window. Now, I have a bunch of commands because I'm an ace pilot. These flight chips are always going to be at the bottom of the left-hand window. So, double-click. It'll ask you if you're sure you want because you're going to burn the chip and lose it. Yes. Next one. Yes. Next one. Yes. Next one. Yes. So now we have all four of these flight chips in. We commit. Yes. And boom, those are gone. And your flight computer is now loaded. We no longer need the backpack. So you have your ship chassis. If it was a blueprint, you've already gone to the chassis dealer, turned it into a chassis. Now we're going to generate the ship. Starship terminal. And here it is. Select it, manage it, load in your ship parts. Now, when you get to a point where stuff isn't loading, this is a very common bug. Just exit out of the management window and the uh, Starship Terminal menu for your ships and just bring it back up again. And boom, now it'll load. And when you do have your shaft, make sure to load a shaft pack. And we did load our droid interface. Now we're going to load in our V1 flight computer. Load. And when it's loaded in, it highlights red. That lets you know you're good to go. And just for the lulls, we will set the texture. And we'll go ahead and give her a paint. Because why not? Oh yeah, look at that. We're fancy. You know what? We're even going to name it. Where's it at? Rename ship. Demo Starfighter. Didn't like that name. Bitch. There we go. All right, let's launch. Now that you have your flight computer loaded up, you need to go to commands. And your astromech commands will have its own tab. Start with reactor overload. Because your other overloads, with the exception of capacitor, your engine and your weapon overloads are going to tax the reactor. The reactor drain on those will go up significantly, especially the engine, when you get to the higher level overloads. So always start off with your reactor overload. You'll get a little prompt saying it did it. Then personally, I like to do the engine overload next.
But before we do that, let's give you an example. So we're topping out at 968 right now. Now we'll hit our engine overload. And now we're going 1065. And the more powerful the overload, the more powerful the uh, you know overload will be, obviously. But level 1, it's kind of small. And then when you hit those level 4 overloads, uh, yeah, you'll notice some juice. Um, commands. So reactor, engine. Then I like to overload the capacitor. Weapon capacitor overcharge 1. And then the weapon overload. And boom. So that's how you overload. Now you got to run the overloads every time you die or every time you launch your ship. And uh, that's it, guys. Yep. O upgrade your ship parts as soon as you can. Upgrade your overloads and your astromech and your flight computer as soon as you can. And a helpful thing, have an ITV set to Nim Stronghold. That way, when you need to upgrade your ship, you can just go right there and you can launch right from there. And uh, that's it.